Hello everyone, I'm um, Black and welcome back to another crash video. Today's video was the time and the most from two different angles to the external view and also the perspective. So first up, we'll watch it from the external view in the ocean. And you can see for impact, as you can see, I added a little surprise. As we approach, look a bit more closely. A bit closer. Yes, that is in fact a fridge. And we impacted the fridge at around 280 around this and I wanted it. More damage than you have probably expected. It slowed us down by around 25 30 kilometers, so somewhat significant I would say. But also the one of the lids is wedged directly into the car. It went directly through into the windshield and into the in between the passengers and driver seat so yeah not particularly good but after this you can see we lost a bit more speed but we gained it back up to 220 even the back bump was damaged which i guess happened from impact in the the asphalt and now we're totally airborne at 220 kilometers an hour so let's speed up time a bit and let's see how high we go. That's the bumper just flying off into the distance. Water side. And now we're back in our descent. Kind of like an airplane, eh? And we'll have to slow down speed tremendously here to actually see what's happening because. We are going at an incredible speed. You'll see this in the real time playback. Okay, this is a hundred times regular speed. It's a bit glitchy. And the impact totally pancakes the car. Like anything in there would have been flattened. Like squishing bread. And here we do one to the air but well you can't really see much more damage since the entire car is totaled we still have enough speed to go up this tiny cliff where we eventually come to a stop now let's watch the same car crash but in real time speed so here we are going on on our own way and down the steep descent Crossing 200, 220, 250, and about now is where we hit the refrigerator. It doesn't quite slow us down a lot. It definitely glitches out a lot though. And now we begin our descent as touching Kel's feet, which of course, as you can see now, how it actually happened, and hits the car. Totally flat. So now let's see what happens from the driver's perspective in slow motion. So just before impact, 16 times regular speed. And impact. And if you're the driver, you would have just about avoided it. It went directly in between the passenger and the driver. So that's a miracle right there. And now airborne. It's like a plane taking off in a way. And now we're back beginning our descent. Impacting the floor at 200 kilometers an hour, which of course pancakes the car. Everything is unrecognizable now. Anybody in there would be long squished. So yeah, I'll just let's take a brief view at just the impact of the fridge in real time. And after this, I'll show you one more angle. And airborne. So now the last angle I'd like to show you is the top view, which in my opinion is by far the most interesting perspective to actually view a car crash from. So we'll go to 16 times regular speed, that's the fridge, 
will be impacted. And you'll see how much it slowed us down to you get a much better view of what actually happens. There are some sparks. That's a panel of the fridge with le which just is left there. And that's the piece of the fridge which was left inside the car. And it's now glitching out. Now the same view, but of course in real time speed and this will be the last view of today so thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like subscribing and if you have any ideas for videos let me know in the comments down below and i'll try my very best to do them anyway thank you for watching and bye for now pancaked flips all around the camera goes crazy and we eventually come to a stop Bye for now.